30 mm resting on HP on one of its base side such that the axis makes an angle of 30 degree to the HP and parallel to VP. Draw its projections. In problem, it is given, it is resting on HP. So we draw the top view first. The top view is a simple square of 30 mm base side. So we take a point, from there we measure 30 mm. The square can be drawn. A square of 30 mm as top view. Ten, twenty, thirty. Then again, we have thirty here. Ten, twenty, thirty. So a square of thirty is drawn for a pyramid. We need to join the corners. So the corners needs to be joined. So here is a dark line. Then we have one more dark line for this corner also. So we name the square which A B. C, T, and O. O is the vertex center. So now we project this and we get the front view. For us, the reference line is x, y. So we project this. base is projected on xy line because the base is completely on hp and we project through o to get the axis now we take 60 mm is given base side 30 mm and axis 60 mm so take that 60 mm let's say from here it's 60 mm 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we mark this among we get an isosceles triangle so project this we'll get an isosceles triangle in the front view just join the corners Similarly, the other side also. So this is the final shape.
and you can just introduce the axis also so introduce the axis line and you can name it you see here a dash is visible b dash is visible c dash is invisible so we put it in bracket d dash is invisible therefore d dash also should be drawn within bracket so this is the initial stage initial stage is very crucial if the initial stage goes wrong everything goes wrong so now we ensure that the entire base is completely on the ground but we need to have one of its base side on the ground so therefore this base side bc or the base side ad can be kept on the ground so now we take the angle 30 degree to hp base side is 30 degree to hp we have base side and the axis 90 degree so therefore we convert the axis 30 the base angle will become 60 degree so base is inclined base side is inclined sixty degree to H. Now step two. Take a point from this point. Draw a sixty degree line. Here is sixty. So join this line. Join this in getting a sixty degree line with reference to the base. Now with the help of compass you can reproduce the given diagram on the 60 degree line so here is the first measurement here is the first measurement right then you have the o dash to take this distance make one arc in here, make an arc in here, then the same distance slant height can be taken in the other side also. Take this also and uh, they intersect. So, with the help of this point, we can now join the new point is O1 dash. Here, the new point is B1 dash within bracket C1 dash here is A1 dash within bracket B1 dash so remove the excess lines now the new position can be shaped by joining the respective points so here is first line O dash with D dash A dash the other line with O dash B dash O dash C dash so you got this so this is the final top view as far as the problem is concerned so you are getting the final chop view wherein you have two points on the xy line just take this distance mark it here 
then you will be able to get the axis as well. So join this point with vertex so that the axis can also be reduced. Where you will join this with a vertex point, and you will be able to get the axis. So now we can understand. When we extend this, we can understand the angle that the axis makes with HP. Now this angle is 30 degree. But we have made we have made this angle 60 because for a right regular square pyramid the axis and the base they are always at 90 degree. So it is obvious that you have here 60 degree. So complete the diagram. Now by projecting this diagram you will be able to draw the final top view also so now make uh, this the help of mini drafter you can now very easily project this to get the final answer yes this is the first line for two points, this is another line for another two points, then this is the line for vertex. So this is the line corresponding to field view, then accordingly you can just project the top view lines also. So let's project this to this end is enough because it is connected only with these two lines and project this one also this particular line has also to be projected till this end only then you have one more point that is the axis line which has to be projected till this because you have the vertical line here so these intersections will give us the final shape let's say the final AB is this final line ok so here is A horizontal and A vertical the intersection is obviously A1 similarly B horizontal and B vertical the intersection gives B1. Same way O horizontal and O vertical the intersection is O1. C horizontal and C vertical the intersection is C1. D horizontal D vertical the intersection is D1. Now the question arises how to join this. We have the basic geometry. So let's just study the basic geometry. The line starts with A, it goes to B. So A, B can very well be connected. Then B to C, there is possibility to connect. Then C to D is there in the geometry. Once again, it's D to A. So you get this connectivity. For all these points, you have a common point O. So OA is possible, OB is possible, OC is possible, OD is possible. So this is the way we connect the object in order to get the answer. So here is AB possible, AB very well possible. The idea is first let us 
just go and join the outer edges simply so av is outer edges is one of the outer edges no doubt then ob provision is there so it's again outer edge then oc it's again outer edge cd outer edge suppose we try to connect od od is not outer edge it is inside so you can leave it here is ad ad is also an outer edge now the question arises which which one should be made dark and which are the dotted lines so we can adopt a simple thumb rule let's look at the front view we assume an arrow mark just write down so just assume an arrow mark uh, down read the extreme points right this is one extreme point assume one horizontal line assume one horizontal line let's say the horizontal line is this on this extreme let us say the horizontal line is this then go to the next extreme this is right extreme assume another horizontal line right so through this assume another horizontal line so we consider the area between this to this is visible zone this is visible zone visible 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 zone we can only go towards this we can't go into this similarly we can only see up to this we can't go inside this so what we do whatever is within this zone is visible so oa visible o1 a1 visible o1 d1 visible therefore all the other edges are invisible except outer edges outer edge ab always visible outer edge ob visible line oc visible line cd should be a visible line da is again a visible line so we join oa yes oa is no doubt visible with the dark line so oa has to be drawn dark similarly we can draw od also with a dark line only because od is a visible line od is a visible line so therefore it is dark abcd is completely visible but ab is edge ad is edge and cd is edge so cbc is a dotted line so we can just put dotted line for bc okay so this has to be drawn properly the corners should match properly please try to make a note of it this ob once again join this od by joining the proper corners so you will be getting a line like this so then